Yo, what's good, gang? This is the Dope Guy, and I am back with another video, big dog. I hope you guys are all doing well out there, because I'm doing all right. Here I am, spinning the block with content for y'all, man, on my soul. Y'all already know the vibes. Today's video is going to be Karma is an Army Part 2. Yo, I did Part 1. It's insane, bro, that BTS gets so much hate, so much criticism for no reason. Even when they're winning, people still criticizing them. It's insane, bro. I don't get it. I don't, it is what it is. But, yo, they still out here winning, doing their thing. In 2025, bro, they're about to have the music on a chokehold. Just watch when they're all done serving their duty in the military. It's going to be lit. Insane. Here we are with Part 2 of Karma is an Army that y'all asked for. So, before we get into this video, subscribe to the dope guy. That way they get notifications every time I upload. And from right here, snatch on the Instagram right across the bottom screen. So, with that being said, I'm not going to hold y'all much longer because y'all already know this go big dog. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Hello, armies. I'm back again to fill your army ego. First of all, this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. I made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Right. Because you don't know what karma will do to you someday. Facts. And excuse me for grammar mistakes, because we be new I sucks in English. Ha 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 ha. Now let's start. <coughs> Before Big Hit announced BTS Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour, some people think BTS will never perform in a big stadium like Rossible. But after Big Hit announced BTS Stadium Tour, they started to doubt if BTS will ever sell out the show. Crazy. Can they even fill the stadium? Are they sure they have a fan base here to sell out Wembley? Mayo. You are not that famous, Beach. Damn. Armpits really think BTS gonna sell out those stadiums tomorrow. Looking forward to the downfall. Damn, call, call army armpits? Damn, the hate is insane. Sheesh, y'all be, y'all be violating. LMFRO baby, if y'all can't face the fact that BTS probably won't fill up Soldier Field or any other stadium in America. BB, we talking about 56K plus, but we will wait and see. Okay, let's see. Let's go. On March 1st, BTS sold out Wembley, a stadium with 90K capacity in just 90 minutes. Hour and a half. And not long after that, the tickets for Stade de France also sold out. Tickets for Ossobol, MetLife, and Soldier Field is also sold out in no time. In conclusion, BTS just sell out five stadium concerts in less than a day, Damn. resulting in an overall sellout over 300k seats in one day. StubHub also announced that BTS Love Yourself World Tour is their highest selling tour of the year, and it is also their third biggest in history. And it's not over yet, wow. a day after BTS sell out their tickets. BTS announced additional concert dates for sold out stadiums on Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour. So BTS will have a two day show in Wembley, Stade de France, Rosabol, MetLife, and Soldier Field. And on March 8th, BTS sold out their second date at Wembley Stadium, with approximately 180k tickets Sheesh. sold. In fact, the demand for a second day show is more than the first one Damn. for their first day show. The people who were waiting in the queue were 245k, and for their yeah. second day show, the people who were waiting K. in the queue were 271k, which is 30k more than the first day demand. Damn. And BTS not only sold out their second day show at Wembley, but also sold out at Stade de France and Rossabol. On March 11th, tickets for BTS show in Brazil also sold out in less than two, two hours. hours. More precisely, one hour 15 minutes, mm. resulting in an additional second date show in Allianz Park. Following their first day success, BTS second date show were sold out in just two hours. After sell out those stadiums, BTS broke the record of the most attended world tour for a Korean artist, with over 1.8 million attendance with 50 shows. Mm. BTS did that, and that's what I called legends. Legends for sure. Let's move to the next place. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard is people assuming BTS popularity will going down just because of TXT, and they really have an earth to think that BTS comeback will be flop. We don't need a Lameomipedia sheet to stay relevant. We all know their global comeback is gonna flop so hard, they're already losing hype. Damn. Actually many of you don't realize it, but it's a good thing TXT is getting a lot of attention. It means that a lot of armies are leaving BTS for TXT which further means that BTS's fame and success is going downhill. It's just the beginning. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, but even recording this for BTS are unlikely to slow down any time soon, and I have to agree with that statement. 
because BTS pre-order sale for their new album is rapidly increasing. In just 24 hours, Map of the Soul Persona reached 56k pre-orders on K-Town for you. Meanwhile Love Yourself Tear only reached 20k, and Love Yourself Answer only reached 27k pre-orders in the span of 24 hours on K-Town for you. It means Persona pre-order is almost twice as much as Answer pre-order, and it's from K-Town for you only. Not long after Big Hit opened the pre-order, Persona immediately rank number one on Cinera, and also rank one on Amazon. Amazing, Meanwhile bro. there's a cuter pre-order Persona on Aladdin, because there's so many people who wants to purchase at the same time. Even buying an album is like ticketing now ha 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 ha. Also until March 16th Chinese Army's pre-order reached 278k copies, which consist of pre-orders from fame sites, online shops, and individual orders, and Beidou Jungkook Bar is the first fan base to reach 50k album pre-orders in less than 4 days. Damn. For the latest update, Persona is currently number 1 bestseller on Amazon US, number 1 on Amazon Canada, number 4 on Amazon UK, and number 1 bestseller on K-Town for you with approximately 121k copies. And not only excel in pre-order sales, BTS also reportedly will be the musical guest on SNL on April 13th. This will be their worldwide comeback with the global stage. To reveal new track performance for the first time on SNL. SNL. We can say this is an upgrade from the last time <laughs> when BTS made a comeback on BBM as. This comeback also gained so many attention from Western media, they all collectively promoting BTS like there is no tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. So, BTS comeback is gonna flop, ha. Huh? Well, we are flop to flop, mayo. No one doing it like BTS indeed. <laughs> BTS can't even get a pack. Can BTS stands get a job? What you are doing isn't reviving your fave dad career. Go stream the songs that where is, this, where is the shade coming from? Are you not paying attention that they're destroying everything y'all are saying? They're negating everything y'all are saying. Y'all still finding ways to hate. It's insane. Even got a pack. You're a pass will just die I try. But they will never come near what this other group has achieved. So sleep and take some growth vitamins. Bro, First of all, Yo. strong power thank you for encouraging Armist to stream. What a supportive queen clap 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 clap. Anyways, just the day after, <laughs> BTS finally achieves their first ever perfect all kill with fake love. Those hate comments didn't age well, Not and karma all. is indeed an army. Yep. <laughs> Do you remember Pyeongchang Chang Olympic? At first we thought BTS were not invited to that event, and some people were clowning BTS because of it, but it turns out that BTS were actually invited by the executive director Song Sung Hwan, they wanted to bring BTS to the Olympic closing, and they tried to cast BTS, since 2017, but was unable due to the possibility of BTS overseas schedule. And after that Jin suddenly upload a video of him chilling with some chickens at a farm. Which means BTS didn't have an overseas schedule at that time. And other fandoms were mad about it. They said BTS were lazy and so on. But then again, BTS couldn't perform on the Olympic. Because of the possibility of overseas schedule. A possibility. So it wasn't a confirmed schedule in the Yo, first I love place. The images and after shady, the whole thing like about it. the Olympic. Some people who still salty were so sure that BTS wouldn't get any <laughs> award at KMA. Since today most armies are celebrate the Karma is army for that Olympic news. Tomorrow our fandom can celebrate and drag BTS army down for not getting the sign at Korean Grammy K ever. Have fun tomorrow. Wow. Well, stay pressed because <laughs> BTS actually win Musician of the Year at KMA 2018. This is the first time for K-pop idol to win such award. Not only that, in February 26, 2019, BTS got Musician of the Year award for the song second the time, and, and they also got Song of the Year award Goats. and Best Pop Song award at KMA 2019. I'm not saying that BTS just made history, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Ha 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 ha. If they are so great, why does not the president send celebration to them? It's just a political offense. They said they are already worldwide, but why haven't the Korean president acknowledged them? The difference between nations pick and social artists are too much. Nations pick based on talents, and acknowledged by their own country, while social artists, based on most retweets on Twitter, because irrelevant in their own country. Maybe they forgot that the GP was upset with that UN speech, because it came off as them promoting their music. 
First of all, it's so unnecessary to bring up politics into fandom war. Right. Second of all, it's so childish of them to discrediting BTS and especially Namjoon for his UN speech. It yep. was a really important speech, and even if Namjoon talking about their music, it is because it was relevant for the topic. And actually, UN speech by BTS is RM used as part of school curriculum in various countries. It's in school the curriculum. The response from Lit. Korean netizen also really positive. They are fascinated at Namjoon's speech, they feel proud, and they really appreciate how diverse BTS are. And as a gift of their UN speech, BTS received custom watches from President of Fire. South Korea. Custom the watches, watches have the President's signature inside the oh, that's lit. and an inscription on the back reads putting people first, considered to be the President's philosophy. President Moon Jae-in also congratulated Fire. BTS for topping Billboard 200 chart with Love Yourself Tear. He appreciate the sincerity of BTS's dance and singing. He also appreciate them for their melody and lyrics which transcend regional borders, language, culture, and institutions. He also said that BTS will be remembered for a long time. So BTS is actually well appreciated by the president, but in October 10th, 2018, a petition demanding for BTS disbandment was filled to the Blue House. Wow. Over three K Koreans have signed for that petition, and apparently it was because of the issue about BTS military service extension which isn't true at all. BTS were just an object of South Korean politician for military extension debate. BTS themselves said they will definitely enlist for military service hey, to clear the rumors. And in October 14th, which is just four days after that petition, BTS attend Korea France Companionship Concert in Paris. President Moon also attend the event and they meet at that place. BTS also extended their contract with Big Hit for seven more years in October 17th. They basically showing those people that a petition couldn't stop them for reaching their dreams and shit. continue to do what they love. Crazy. The petition even seems like a joke after BTS awarded Order of Cultural Merit by Korean government in October 25th. They become the youngest recipients for the award. And recently, BTS were added into South Korean national anthem. All of those things proves that BTS is indeed well respected, well appreciated, Fire. and they are indeed national treasure in South Korea. That's it for today's episode, and please remember, that we shouldn't underestimating any other group or fandom, we don't need to do the same thing as they do, and the comeback is really near, there will be so many people who will discrediting BTS and armies, but just ignore, and we will prove them wrong when the time comes, because Karma is army, an and army. she loves BTS, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I'm sorry, if I offended anyone. Love yourself. Love myself. Peace. Don't apologize. You ain't offend no one at all. Bro, they were hating back in 2018, 2019, 2017, bro. Over the years, bro. They've been hating on them, bro. It's insane. It's crazy, man. And this video, they were doing more hate on this one than they did in the first one. It's, it's crazy. How many of these Carmen's and Army videos is out here, bro, that just people just showing pure hatred? This goes to show 2025, I'm pretty sure people are talking trash about them now. But 2025, when they're all back from serving their duty in the military as one a whole group, they still dropping dope ass music now. They still dropping videos, music, everything. But when they come back in 2025, it's gonna be insane. The hate is gonna be crazy. Like people, yo, I'm here for all of that. I'm here for it all. I'm excited for them, man. It's gonna be super lit. Man, karma is definitely an army because people really been hating, bro. Yo, it's insane, bro. But yo, shout out to them. Shout out to the army. Much love. Respect to everybody out here, man. On my soul. Yo, hope you enjoyed the reaction to this video. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Dope Guy Big Dog. Hit the notification bell whenever I upload. Follow me right here on Snapchat and Instagram right across the bottom screen. Any of the videos you may check out, please comment into this video. My other videos, I leave likes and comments on all my videos. Help grow the channel. Help with the algorithm. For sure! Yo, any more recommendations and selections? You want me to do more? I said selections. Any more suggestions y'all want me to do? As far as karma as an army, y'all only do number three. Let me know in the comment section below. Now I got you. I'm gonna spin the block. But yeah, man, this is the dope guy, and I am out. Yes, sir. We go.